Hi friends, today I'm going to do a yes no reading for you with advice and a message from the Healing Spirits Oracle as well. So today I'll be using the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle by Athena Noctua, Ask Yourself Tarot by Monica Louvre, and the Gordon Smith um, Healing Spirits Oracle as well. And if you're interested in any of those decks and learning more about them, I have deck reviews of them on my um, Oracle Deck Review and Tarot Deck Review playlists. <clears throat> All right, so first thing you need to do is concentrate on your yes-no question. Now, you can, you can ask one yes-no question, two, or three, because we'll have three piles. You'll pick a pile for each yes-no question that you have. <clears throat> Concentrate on your question, and then concentrate on your piles. So, well, first concentrate on your question or questions. Now, these need to be able to be answered with a yes, no, or a maybe type answer. I will pull a card, like I said, for advice and for um, a blessing from the healing spirits. All right. Spirit... Which card will best answer pile one questions? Which card will best answer pile one questions? Which card will best answer pile two's question? And card three. All right, so here's the three piles, the three yes, no answers. I'm going to put a crystal or with each one. I'm going to put a pendulum with each one exactly. For pile one, I'm going to put the selenite pendulum. Pile two is going to be this beautiful um, peridot and copper uh, lucite pendulum. And pile three is going to be this uh, lapis lazuli pendulum. All right. I don't think I showed you that very well. All right. So, and did I show you that one? Okay. Whichever one um, speaks to you, whichever one says this is your pile, concentrate now on that. If you need to pause the video for a minute to figure out which pile you want for which question or just which pile you want if you have one question. All right. As soon as you're ready, we'll get uh, started. All right. If you chose pile one with the selenite, pendulum your answer is no unequivocally no and let's see what the book says exactly about this it says uh, this is the most absolute no in the deck nothing fuzzy or ambiguous ambiguous this no means business all right so let's pull you some an advice card so what advice spirit what advice do you have for pile one about the situation that they asked about. What advice do you have for Pile 1? Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 1? Okay, and your advice is the Six of Wands. <clears throat> now, the Six of Wands is a card of victory. So the fact that your answer to this question is no may imply that you're going to be victorious in something, okay? No is not always a bad answer. Maybe no is even the answer that you wanted. So um, the Six of Wands is implying that you are going to be successful at something. You're going to even be maybe uh, applauded by other people and recognized for whatever it is you've done, all right? So this is the card of victory. This is the card of success. Um, and... The advice is to um, be a good winner, be a humble winner. Um, accept your reward and definitely be happy about it, but um, also be a humble winner. And the question that you should ask yourself is, are you ready to be recognized for all your efforts and achievements? Are you ready mentally? Are you ready emotionally? Be emotionally to be recognized for your achievements because according to this card you're going to be recognized sometime soon for your achievements now let's say we'll see what the healing spirits have to say to you okay what advice the healing spirits what advice do you have for um 
What advice do you have for pile one? What advice do you have for pile one? What advice do you have regarding their situation and their question? What advice do you have for them? Okay. Uh, this is your message from your spirits. It is time to move forward. All right. So that is number five. And let me look here. So this message is from your spirit healers and helpers. Your spirit healers and helpers. And it says, it's time to move forward. When your thoughts have been stuck on the same thing for too long, it's time to move on to other things. No matter how dark and heavy the clouds of emotion that have built up in your mind, remember that above them is a light waiting to shine through. It is time to direct your thoughts to the power of the spirit healers and helpers who are ready to help you and ask to be shown a way out of despair. Ask this once a day until you feel the weight of the emotions lifting and the healing light raising your mind to, a better, to better things again. Truly beautiful spirit healers are as close to you as your own thoughts are right now. So whether this no answer uh, was a disappointment to you or whether it was a the answer you actually wanted, um, it looks like you're still going to be recognized for your efforts in something, okay? Um, you may be upset about this answer and your spirit healers are waiting to... Um, you know, to heal you, to make you feel better. I mean, it is time to move forward. It is not time to wait in the despair. It is time to move forward with your goals and to um, receive credit for your efforts and achievements. All right, Pile One, that was your um, answer. I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a message in the uh, comment box below. Thank you. Thank you for watching. All right, if you chose Pile Two... With the Lucite and Peridot and Copper Pendulum, your answer is let go. All right, so let's see what the Oracle has to say about that. Your answer is let go. It says, at first glance, this card might seem to be suggesting that you give up your current pursuit. That's not the message. Instead, Instead, it suggests that you let go of your attachment to the subject of your question and cease clinging, striving, and grasping. The let go card asks you to learn to love with an open hand. Let universal flow come and go as it desires and trust all is for your highest good. Something that is held and squeezed and restricted cannot grow or flourish. Release your troubles and desires to the divine and trust in spirit to find the perfect solution in the perfect time. Okay, so it's saying let go of your clutches on whatever this is and things will happen the way they're supposed to when they're supposed to. All right, let's see what advice Spirit has for you. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 2? And your advice is justice. That is a major arcana card. And justice is asking you the question, what needs to be resolved and set right in your life? Okay, maybe for this situation to work itself out, there is something that needs to be resolved and set right in your life. So the advice would be to take care of that, whatever it is, and realize that um, the just solution, the correct solution, and what is right and... Um, what is right and fair for everyone will happen. So ask yourself what needs to be resolved and set right in your life before whatever this is can um, come to fruition. Let's see what the spirit, um, the healing spirits have to say. Healing spirits, what message do you have for pile two? Healing spirits, what message do you have for pile two, please? Okay, it's... To overcome, you first have to climb. All right, your message is to 
to overcome, you first have to climb. And this is number 37, card number 37. So if the number 37 means something to you, that may be important right now. If the number 10 or even the number 1 means something important to you right now, pay attention to that. So let's see what the healing spirits have to say. So card 37... is a message from your guardian spirits and it says it is always okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear all right so when you're told let go and what needs to be resolved and set right in your life it's okay to ask for guidance when the way is unclear you may have lost your way on the spiritual path you started on but help is always at hand when you need it the guardian spirits that light our universe always know where you are on the path and are only a thought away from you. They are telling you that when the way is unclear, it's time to stop and take stock of where you've come from rather than make hasty decisions about your future. Now is the time for you to ask for assistance and allow the light beings to gently lead you to a place where you can pause and wait for life's clouds to clear. All right, Pile 2, that is your message. I hope that was helpful for you. If you'd like, please leave a comment about um, if, if this said something special to you, I, I'd love to know. All right. If you chose pile three with the... Um, <clears throat> Lapis Lazuli uh, Pendulum, um, this is your answer. Your answer is, this is the sign. All right. Let's see what the oracle says about that. If you got the card, this is the sign. It says, sometimes we find ourselves in limbo, putting off making decisions or taking next steps towards something we're unsure of. If you've been searching for a sign that you should do, leave, or start something, this is your sign. This also means that, depending on the question you ask, this is an affirmative card and a form of yes. Think of it as your green light to take action. All right, that sounds like good news. Your green light to take action. And let's see, what advice, Spirit, do you have for Pile 3? Okay. Hmm. All right. Your card, your advice card, is the Hermit, which is also a major arcana. So that means that this is something that's going to be super important to, to listen to. And what the hermit is asking you is what situation in your life is asking you to look within. Okay? So this is your sign to proceed to do whatever it is you are asking about. But the hermit is asking you to look within to your inner wisdom to make sure how you should proceed. What is the wise way to proceed? What is the best way to proceed? Okay? The Hermit is all about your inner wisdom and taking time to access your inner wisdom, okay? So take some quiet time, go within, listen to your thoughts, listen to your um, soul, listen to your inner wisdom about the situation so that you know how to proceed. Okay, and finally, let's ask for a message from the Healing Spirits. Healing Spirits, what message do you have? For pile three. Healing spirits, which message, what message do you have for pile three? The message is your soul will find those you are meant to experience life with. Your soul will find those you are meant to experience life with. The number is 27, so that number may mean something to you. Um, you may be 27 years old. Or the number nine may also mean something to you. So let me see what card 27 says. And this message is coming from your spirit sages and masters. So uh, ascended masters are telling you this. Your soul will find those you are meant to experience life with. You're never alone in this world or the universe itself. Even if you feel that you're waiting for another person to come into your life to complete you, the wise old spirit sages are reminding you that the human journey is short and impermanent compared with your spirit life. 
When you find contentment in yourself, a light will shine in the universe and it will be noticed by those who are naturally attracted to you. Be at peace with yourself now and the right connections will join you soon. Remember, on your personal journey through each life, many individuals will cross your path, some good for you and others bringing difficulties for you to overcome. This part of your journey is about lessons, not right or wrong. Look closely at the people you've attracted thus far and learn to accept your life lessons and grow because of them. All right, Pile 3, that was your message today. Um, everyone, that was the reading. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a message in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so. It's completely free for you. It helps me out a lot. And I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.